I am E.J. Jones, and I am the man who knits. I only knit with natural fibers, probably cashmere and camel hair and wool are my favorites. I look, I look everywhere for, for yarn. Next spot is women's sweaters. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm looking for wool. And I'm looking for cashmere, basically. Ah, but looky here. Here's something we want. Let's see, this is this is 100% cashmere, and it's half price, and it is, that is, I can use that, the back, and like, I won't use the front, but I can use the back there. So that goes in the cart. When I go to the Salvation Army, I am looking for the largest sweater, that has the most designer characters to it, that is cashmere. Well, here's one. It's got a big hole in it, but uh, I can use that. I could not afford yarn that I'm used to knitting with for sweaters. They were very, the yarn's very expensive, and I found that if you buy a sweater and you can take it apart, you've got, for the most part, pretty good yarn to work with. So, so being retired and on a limited income, like I am, I had, this is what I had to re return to. And you see, it only takes me an hour to, to, an hour to two hours at most to take a sweater apart. And what I do to take it apart, I just take a little seam ripper and I just go in here and rip it apart. So the sleeve is off and I have, and all I have is found the, the loose end. And what I do is put this on the ball winder and then just start taking it apart. And you can see, this is, uh, goes pretty fast. We're just about done here. I like to get all the wool. If I'm gonna pay 99 cents for a sweater, I'm gonna definitely get all the wool I can. There is the sleeve of the sweater. The story of my knitting history starts First time I was in Ireland, I was on business, and the people I was doing business with all had Aaron sweaters on. And I said, oh, those are pretty. So I went and bought an Aaron sweater for myself, fell in love with it, so I wanted to learn how to knit. And that was probably 15 years ago. Since then, I've knitted probably close, at least a few less than 30 sweaters. I learned how to knit hats from a sweater that I had finished and had extra yarn. So I knitted a hat. This is a toque. This is a flat top. It comes from a chef's hat. It's T-O-Q-U-E. I am gonna put it on to see what I feel like it about. What do you think? As opposed to a rounded, a rounded top, there is not one alike. They're all different. All made from recycled sweaters. I graduated from Ohio State and I was in the wholesale beer and wine business for 30 years before I retired. I probably knit four or five hours a day 
It gives me a reason to get up in the morning and, and it keeps me busy. I used to express myself through wine. Now I express myself through knitting of hats. <laughs>